Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Father X walkthrough videos. Today we are going to talk about how to block removable devices using Kaspersky Security Center through policies on endpoints. And um, on side by side, we'll see how we can allow some users to use USBs or removable drives uh, when we are blocking it for the other users. So to get started with this, what we are going to do, we are going to get into the policy of endpoint security. So you know we have endpoint security policy over here. So I'm going to go into device control. And from, from device control, we have removal devices over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it. I can right click and say block, but I'm going to do add it. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to block the access everyone for example so that's the default thing what happens when you connect it um i was doing some changes so that's why the allowed group was there so i'm going to click on okay and i'll say okay on this so now we will wait for this policy to be applied to windows 7 machine which we had over there and it seems it is already applied so what we are going to do is we are go going to windows 7 machine um, this will come up it's fine we go to device control to just verify how the settings look like so over here it seems that it says access as, as per um, the device so if you look over here we have policies applied over there right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect a usb device so as you know i'm working on vmware so i'm going to connect this usb to this machine and i think this is the one which i'm using and if you look over here it is trying to install the drivers and let's go over here and see i have got the block message i can request temporary access we can talk about it and later tutorial video what what I wanted to show you is I cannot access this video uh, anymore the user which I'm logged in and is logged in as administrator so if you want what we can do is I can log off this user and try to log in with another user to just make sure that this user is also blocked because we have blocked everyone over here so I have a user called Bob All right, and I'm going to access the USB now over here. So you can see I have the USB drive blocked over here. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to allow it for certain uh, users and for doing it, I'm going into the same settings and rather than uh, using everyone, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that particular group. I have a group called Allowed USB bob and fawad myself as member of those uh, groups so i have a group called allowed usb um, i'm going to look for that let's go here it's better um and it would be easier for me to do it this way so I have a user called, I um, mean the group called USB allowed and I'm going to give access to read write to this group and I'm going to apply this policy now. <coughs> so I think the policy should be applied by now. Let's go and try to access the removal device and now you can see I can read this usb i can create a file test file okay and say i can save it now let's do something else uh, let's go over here 
and rather than giving this user group write access let's make it read access and let's wait for this policy to get applied now right so let's go over here so if it's, this policy is properly applied i should not be able to delete it because i have uh, i don't have the permissions to write anything so deleting a file is also kind of a writing and if I would like to create a new file on it, of course, I cannot do it, but I can read this file. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I'm talking about.